Hi everyone, I want to start going over the IPEC GOAT movie and try to explain what I'm understanding about it from a biblical perspective. And as you can see primarily this movie is about the mark of the beast. You can tell that from the, the barcode that's stamped on his forehead. It, it also has a number 666 on it. So it's basically a representation of the apocalypse but more importantly, it's also a representation of the rapture. And as I've mentioned before, the movie ends at the 727 mark, which is the Strong's number for, for rapture. Okay, so I'm just going to play the movie from over here so that I can slow it down and talk about it as the, the movie is playing. And so as you can see, it has the numbers 666 right there on his forehead. And I want to talk about this imagery right here that's drawn on the wall over here, but I'll do that a little bit later. Probably didn't need to slow it down this much. I'll try to speed it up a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, Satan is the, the puppet master, and he's controlling the, these two puppets, which they're actually one puppet. It starts out as Bush, but then it turns into Obama, and Bush is wearing the, a dunce cap over here. He's just entertaining the kids, and then this imagery in the background is very important, too, which I'll get into, but... It's actually a representation of the Google Doodles that I've talked about in previous videos. And so I don't want to repeat information that I've already gone over. I just want to go over whatever's new. But one of the things that I noticed is that he has this circle on his cheek. And when he turns into Obama, Obama also has that circle on his cheek. But the, the teacher doesn't have the circle. But then when it gets to Eve, you see that she has a circle as well. So I'm thinking that the circle represents the, the two seeds, the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent, because they're both controlled by Satan. And so what's happening at this point, I'll go ahead and pause it. Okay, I'll also slow it down. But... As you can see, this is where the exit sign appears, that the light shines on her, and you see the word exit over here. This is actually the exodus. This is the, the word exodus in the Greek is the word exit. So if, if you go to Greece, instead of an exit sign, they'll have the word exodus. And so this is um, highlighting the exodus. This is the end of the 6,000 years. Eve finally realizes that the apple doesn't belong to her. If you look at the gallery, it, it, it even says that over here. It says, and suddenly a startling realization arose in Lily. This apple is not mine, she thought. It belongs to someone else. Okay, another thing that someone had pointed out in a video that I watched, and I haven't watched very many videos about this at all. I just watched a little bit of one. But someone had pointed out that this figure over here looks like Donald Trump. And so this would be indicating the, the first of the year, 2017. And then this right here would be indicating the Easter time frame. And so what I'm thinking is if this circle right here represents a, a clock, then this would be directly opposite from the first of the year would be right right around now but I'm gonna go ahead and start playing the video because I have some important things to share about the next scene and so as you can see she drops the apple okay and so the apple rolls past this number seven which I believe could represent the the Hebrew year 5777 that we just passed and I'll explain more why I believe that but then you also have this half of a circle over here, which looks like the, the letter C. 
and the, the Roman numeral C represents the, the number 100. Of course, that would be in the opposite direction, but I think it's more likely that this is representing half a circle because you have the, the two circles on, on their cheeks, and now the circle is split in half. I believe this is the splitting of the DNA, the splitting of the atom. That's basically what the rapture is. If you go to 1 Corinthians 15.52, where it says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. The word moment here in the Greek is actually the word Adam. It's interesting that it's Strong's number 823, because, as I've mentioned before, I believe this all has to do with DNA. 8 could be representing the year. But an atom is something that cannot be cut. So the concept is that this is the, the smallest particle because it, it means it's uncuttable, so small that you can't cut it. But that's exactly what Jesus is going to do. And I'll just show you this scripture as a, a reference. It says, For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, even piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and the marrow and is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So it's going to even divide asunder the soul and the spirit, which are basically the, the same thing. And so I've explained before, when Jesus comes back, everything is going to split. It's not going to just be the Mount of Olives, but the entire earth is going to split, as, as well as the heavens are going to split. So everything is going to be written in twain from top to bottom, just like the veil of the temple was written in twain. And then the, the very next scene that you see here, the, the apple is split. So I believe this represents the splitting of the DNA, just as the, the Mount of Olives represents the splitting of the DNA. And then you have the, the two vines intertwining because, as I've mentioned many times before, when the Mount of Olives cleaves, it, it then cleaves, it's, it's then joined together. When you read it in the Greek, you see that it has the, the word glue. And I'll just go ahead and show you this translation of this Septuagint real quick. You can see that when you get to verse 5 over here where it says that the mountain will cleave, it says, and shall be obstructed or sealed in the valley of my mountains, and they shall be joined together, the ravine or the, the cleft by my mountain. So it's going to cleave, but then it's going to join back together. Okay, so this is the restoration of the DNA, but you also have a very important clue over here, which I didn't realize that, that this was a clue. The, the first thought that I had about this scene right here when I first saw it is I noticed this um, shoe over here, which happens to be the, the same shoe that both um, Bush and, and Obama were wearing a similar shoe. But I noticed that it had this cap over here. And then when I saw the number 7 and what looked like a, an O to me at first before I realized it was just half a circle. But I think it could still be two O's because the, the apple seems to make two circles. So the first thought that I had was I, I thought of James Bond and 007 because of the cap on the shoe. They always have all these little gadgets on their shoe and there's no reason for anyone to really have a cap on their shoe unless they're they're going to use it as a, a weapon so it didn't seem like a, a normal thing so the first thing I thought of was like James Bond and, and 007 so I looked up the word James so I put in meaning of the name James and over here it says it's a classic boy's name derived from the Hebrew name Jacob which means supplanter and of course it's also the name for Israel because Jacob's name was changed to Israel and so there's two ways to look at this it could be referring to the supplanter or it could be referring to a representation of Israel and then of course the word bond 
would definitely be relevant because that means something that binds, fastens, confines, holds together, a cord, rope, band, or ligament, something that binds a person or persons to a certain circumstance or line of behavior. So this would definitely relate to the, the DNA and the, the transformation, and then the, Israel would definitely relate to this as well. But then another thing that I noticed, and I'll just try to enlarge it so you can see it better, but I noticed that he was stepping on this coin over here. Okay, so this reminded me of Strong's number 2778, which I've talked about before, which is the word census, which means the coin with which uh, tax is paid. And I've talked about before how I believe this is a representation of the mark of the beast. And then when Jesus had the, the fish to swallow, the coin that that was a representation of how he's going to swallow up the the beast system and I've also talked about how this is the the next Strong's number after Strong's number 2777 which is a form of the word head and then 2776 which is a Strong's number before that which is the the word head that's used for the ahead of the corner in Luke 2017. Okay, so I'll just show you that again. You can see that's the, the word head as in head of the corner. That's strong number 2776. Okay, you can see that right here. 2776. Okay, so if you watched my last video, you'll, you'll realize why that's important. But I'll just go ahead and explain my first thoughts about this. And when the, when the apple rolled past the seven over here, my first thought was that the shoe represents Jesus. It's like he's saying the, the buck stops here. This is where, where it all ends, where the apple ends and then it splits in half. But what I realized was something really amazing after that. I, I was just looking at the word head in the Greek, and I don't know why I looked at it on this site instead of the, the blue letter Bible. I just happened to look at it here instead. But I was looking at it in reference to this scene over here, which I'll talk more about. But that was the reason why I looked up the word. And so when you look at the definition over here, it reads a little head, the head of a nail, the capital of a column. And then over here it says toe cap of a shoe. And then over here it talks about the, the role of the, the scroll, the Bible the roll over here. So it's basically the same definition, but it also had this additional definition over here. And here's another website that mentions the, the definition as well. And again, it has the, the same definitions over here. But in addition, if you scroll down, it has this additional definition over here as well, the toe cap of a shoe. Okay, so someone would have to know their Greek and their Hebrew pretty well to, to get all these details right with the, the, the shoe over here matching up with Strong's number 2777, the other image with the, the scroll and the hand. They would have to know Hebrew pretty well to get that right. And there's actually two ways to interpret this. This could be a representation of Christ saying that the, the buck stops here, the, this is where the apple stops rolling, and then the very next thing is the coin down here, which would be 2778, representing the, the beast system. Or it, it could be referring to the Antichrist stomping on the, the most holy place, because what's depicted on the coin is a, a crown and a cross. I saw a video which um, showed that in the video what was on the coin. And so it could be taken two ways, but I think it's most likely representing Jesus because if you look at the next scene, you'll see that o Obama is starting to sweat in the next scene. 
and so he knows his time is up. Okay, speaking of time being up, my time is just about up, so I'll have to continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.